This is a project I built to control all the electronics in my room remotely. I call it Rufus the Personal Assistant app. First you connect uh, via Bluetooth to the Arduino connected relays that control a few outlets here. Um, now I can, using the buttons, I can turn on the fan. So, and in addition to the buttons, I can, I can turn it on with voice commands. Turn four on. And I use it for anything I have around the house. Radio, lights, fan, heater. Okay, it works like this. Inside this red cardboard box here, and by the way, cardboard is a terrible way to control uh, relays and um, mains power devices, so don't do this. Inside here, there's an Arduino controlling three relays, and it's connected to this little Bluetooth module here. When I press the central button on the app, it connects to the Bluetooth module and confirms that the connection has gone through. When I press one of the buttons, it sends a signal to the Arduino, and the Arduino then uses that to decide which outlet to turn on. It's very simple. I keep all of the devices uh, turned on all the time, and, and then I just control it from the outlet. So I, I turn on or off the power from the surge protector, and that decides whether the item itself turns on or off. And um, the, the coding on the Android app is just a few buttons. It's an icon that uh, I used from another project. Thanks Hillel, who made the icon. I really would recommend if you do it, as I said, using something better than a cardboard box. I've been using this for a few months now and haven't had a problem, but it's, uh, it, it's not the way I would recommend. And when you look for a surge protector, most of them make it very difficult for you to open them up. They use obscure screw shapes, weird triangle and pin pincher shapes that uh, you'll have difficulty finding and opening. So look around for a while if you're trying to make this for one that's, that's actually possible to open because you'll have to go in there and rewire them to connect them to the relays. The other thing that's worth noting is that this number two outlet here I don't control this one. I, I keep it on all the time because that's this is what's powering the Arduino. So obviously the thing is is useless without this always getting power. Um, so it's worth keeping one outlet uh, on all the time just to give power to the Arduino. In fact, if I press the button, it doesn't even do anything because I don't want it turning off. And thanks for watching.